Hey everyone, so I am going to be showing you the Bissell Power Force Helix Turbo Vacuum. I have not taken it out of the box yet. So I'm going to be showing you some key features that it says on the box. Then I'll take it out and show it to you. So as you can see here, it says the powerful dirt pickup with every pass with Turbo Pass brush roll and wide cleaning path. Turbo brush tool with extended cleaning reach. Multi-cyclonic technology with no loss of suction with a little asterisk, we'll get to that. Designed to clean under furniture. And here's the features. Okay, so the features say Helix Dirt Separation System, onboard tools, five height adjustments, washable filters, extra long stretch hose, and 25 foot power cord, two year limited warranty. And here's the asterisk where it said with no loss of suction. Tested per IEC, all those numbers, with multiple dust loadings, results with an accepted tolerance of 5%. Okay, so let's go to the side. I know, I like to read the box on like everything. <laughs> okay, so this one just says the same thing. Okay, and then the back of the box, it kind of just shows you everything. It just shows you where everything is. This is the turbo brush. This is the extra long stretch hose. The dusting brush is right here. The Helix dirt separation system is right here. Or wait, is that where it goes? Yeah, that's where it goes. The large capacity dirt tank, washable filters, the five height adjustment right here, 25 foot power cord, extended wand, crevice tool, and the 15 inch wide cleaning path. All right, so um, let's open it up. Okay, so opening it up here, asks you to leave a review and do not return the product to the store. I love whenever um, companies say that. Okay, here's the carton contents. The vacuum base, the upper handle, turbo brush, two screws, tape to handle, hose, lower cord wrap, dusting brush, crevice tool inside the extension wand, extension wand, and user's guide. Um, also price point, I paid $68 for this. I know prices can vary depending on the store and location, but I paid $68 for this. Okay, so what do we have here? To register your product, you can go online, mobile, or you can mail this. I have a three-year-old assistant helper with me, so that's why the lights are doing that. <laughs> Uh, here's the user's guide. You can see it says it's the 2190 series. Okay, and here is the turbo brush. Let's take that out. Okay, we have this piece. We also have this piece. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. All right, let's take it out. Okay, so this is what came out. This here, we have the hose, the cord, and then we have the handle. All right, let's put this thing together. Okay, as I'm putting this together, this was just like laying in here. What is this? I don't really know what this is. But yeah, that was just laying in there. All right, so I'm hoping, I always get something that has like an issue. So hopefully this is not an issue. Okay, that piece is on. What do we do next? I'm gonna be showing you every step of how to put this together because it's just me and my little one. Okay, so this is the handle. That's literally all we did. Oh, and he knows. He's putting it right there. Thank you, buddy. Okay, so this piece goes in right here. And then you just turn it. Okay, we have the cord all wrapped up. Okay, so for this big hose here, you don't even need a screw. You just literally see this little knob. You put that in there and then you twist it up. It's connected. How easy is that? 
Okay, so this hose just kind of snaps in up there and then snaps in, well, not snaps and kind of just pushes in down here. Okay, guys, and for the crevice tool, which is this, and then you have the bigger tube here. Of course, you just put the crevice tool in the top of this. And then snap it in here. Okay, guys, the two screws just go here. One goes here in the handle. One goes here in the handle. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on, which is the red button back here. So you see how easily, look how much dirt it got in that super little spot. Now you will see, I purposely picked up a, a little, it's like one of these little, um, it's like a little plastic puzzle piece that my son has. I purposely picked that up to see where it would end up because let's just be honest. Um, you're going to pick up toys if you have kids with a vacuum, right? So I'm looking in here and I'm like, I don't see it. I don't see it. It's right here. So it didn't actually go all the way through, which is a good thing. I'm glad it didn't go and get stuck anywhere. So that's good. Uh, but I mean, again, look, look how much. I mean, it's the first time I ever turned it on. How much dirt in like this three inch section. So let's try the crevice tool now. Oh, don't want to pick up that screw. Sorry, we've been putting together a lot of um, Christmas toys. So, okay. What can we pick up? Let's just pick up that bag. You're not supposed to pick up bags, but let's just do it anyway. Oh! sucked it up and then it sucked it up again did it go in did it go in the uh oh there it is <laughs> There's the bag. you're not supposed to suck up bags anyways i can tell the um suction on this is excellent i will do an update video once i've used this for several weeks of course i just put it together so that's just like my little initial thing but so far I definitely give it a thumbs up. It was super cheap and it seems like it's like a good quality vacuum. I have bought um, cheap vacuums before, but they didn't seem like they had a lot of power. And of course this advertises it has a lot of power, but you never know if it actually does. But when I just tested it out right here, it actually does seem like it does. And as you can see, it picked up a ton of dirt in like <laughs> a super, super tiny little space. So video not sponsored. So far I like it. Again, that is the Bissell Power Force. Helix Turbo Vacuum. Thanks for watching and please share the video.